Hello everybody, this is Not A Crypto Expert chiming in with another video and in today's video I wanted to go over an article that I ran across regarding some EOS users losing some of their funds but before I get into the topic of conversation for today I would like to ask that you please consider giving me a like, giving me a heart, giving me a thumbs up, giving me a follow, subscribe, hitting that post bell notification. I'm not going to ask you to share because it seems invasive on my channel. I talk about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and I try to keep it entertaining with the beat playing in the background. On to the topic of conversation for today, and this article is titled Users of EOS Based Wallet Suddenly Left Penniless as Company Folds. This article was published on April 22nd, 2020 from CoinGeek.com. Chinese digital currency enthusiasts who put their trust in the EOS ecosystem wallet are now second guessing their decision. The wallet, which built its platform on promises of outstanding returns for users' deposits, has suddenly gone dark in an apparent exit scam. With the wallet's founder's disappearance, around 52 million in hedge funds have gone missing as well. Chinese media outlet China News broke the news yesterday. Its report followed warnings issued by the blockchain center news source for more than a year, which had warned users to stay away. When traders began realizing that they couldn't access their accounts yesterday, those warnings proved to be accurate and users will most likely have no recourse to try to recuperate their lost money. The exit scam found the perpetrator allegedly emptied the accounts as well as the platform's own account. It shouldn't have come as a surprise to anyone and reiterates the importance of performing due diligence before handing over money to anyone in any situation, digital currency or fiat. EOS ecosystem was sued last year in a Chinese court for operating a pyramid scheme that attracted more than 33 EOS tokens. And previous reports have shown that the platform was never running an EOS node as it claimed. China News adds, at present, the funds have been transferred to a Hoibi device account in large quantities. It is reported that the account is not a Hoibi deposit account, so the funds are still outside. To be honest, EOS is not a good way to cash out after the lap, and it is easy to be tracked. Hoibi is a main OTC exchange, so these funds are a problem. Should the exit scam result in someone trying to cash out the $52 million all at once, it would have dire consequences for the value of EOS. However, the good news is that there may be a way to freeze the funds before that happens. According to China News, based on the characteristics of EOS, it is possible to freeze the assets on the account. It is better to contact BM to freeze them. Those who are interested can also explore it, but in my opinion, the implementation is more difficult. EOS has always been criticized for its centralization, and it costs less to try. Of course, whether it can be achieved technically or not, you still need to explore it yourself. This isn't the first time that EOS has been involved in a massive scam. Block.1 introduced the EOS IO open source blockchain software in 2018, and that has led to a number of investment scams centering on the digital currency. Among these can be found EOS Cube, EOS Fin, and EOS Vote. In other words, it might be smarter to avoid EOS completely. Now, I'm not going to co-sign that very last part of the article. However, um, I, I feel for the EOS users that are going through this right now, man, that sucks because, I mean, I don't even think having your own wallet, uh, wa hardware wallet would have saved your funds in this particular case. So all I can say is I, I'm, I'm praying for you guys that you're not losing your shirt over this nonsense. I hope that you... Um, it didn't put like your life savings or anything like that or you didn't lose your life savings because of this, this nonsense um, and hopefully you can bounce back stronger i'm going to remind everybody else this is the wild wild west so i say do everything you can to protect yourself but in situations like this it's you're just kind of shit out of luck so uh just we're in the wild wild west when it comes to crypto folks so try to be as careful as possible so with that being said, folks, don't forget to hit that like button, that heart button, that thumbs up button, that follow, that subscribe, that post bell notification. Not going to ask you to share because it seems invasive, and I hope that you are having a great morning, great afternoon, and an even better evening.